praise the Lord. Shall we pray? All I have to say, Baba, she. Baba Ureshi For all you have done for me, Father I just want to say thank you For the great things you have done for me, Father I just want to say thank you For your mercy, and for your love I just want to say thank you All I want to say Baba As we go into your word, O oh God, speak to us, Lord. Minister grace unto us, Father. As we review the words preached on Sunday, Father, speak unto us, O oh Lord. May you be the one to do the revelation and the review, Lord, for the glory and honor of your name. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. You are welcome to his presence in Jesus Christ's name. Please turn with me to the book of Revelation chapter 10. We are going to be reviewing our preaching of last week, Sunday. The voice of the seventh angel in the genesis of humanity and fire and water. Praise the Lord. It's just our testimony day. I'm not preaching, just a review to refresh our minds of those things we did. Revelation chapter 10, verse 7. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, as he had declared to his servants, the prophets. Praise the Lord. Now, the voice of the seventh angel is the voice of Christ himself. If you go back to the book of Genesis, we understand that it was the voice of the serpent that brought about the fall of man. So all has to do with voice. The voice you are listening to matters a lot. And we thought about the voice of the seventh angel in the genesis of humanity. And that voice of the seventh angel is the voice of Jesus Christ. Praise be the name of the Lord. And it is this voice that is bringing about the consummation of the work of Christ in the bright. Praise be the name of the Lord. Now, so much is going to happen when the voice is declared to you. If things that are stated in Revelation, in the feast of the trumpets, if things that are stated they are not happening to you, then you have not heard that voice yet. 
because he's a living voice i'm bringing about a living world in a living church praise be the name of the lord that is why we are we are the living world assembly the word of god is made alive in us praise be the name of the lord it's just a review. I just want to refresh and rephrase on the teaching. The messages are there. We can play it over and over again. Now, over the years, there has been voices raised. And these voices Don't declare the fullness of Christ to the bride. These voices is a halfway declaration of Christ. Let somebody say amen to that. Amen. Now, if you look at the prophets and the law, you understand that the prophet and the law declare the voice of christ but the fullness of that voice you can't find it there when you bring the prophet and the law and bring grace and truth and bring it together it gives the complete voice and it's this complete voice that brings about the complete work of god in the church the church is the way she is because of she has not been hearing the voice of the seventh angel. The voice that the church has been hearing is the voice, a religious voice. is the same voice of the serpent glorified. The serpent becoming religious and masquerading himself like the angel of light and speaking a religious voice to the church and the church has been listening to this religious voice and they thought that they are hearing from God that is why the word of God is not made alive in them Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. For the word of God to be made alive, you must hear the voice of the seventh angel. Amen. The voice of the completeness. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The voice that has the completeness of Christ. Because it is that voice that brings to pass the fulfillment of the will of God Amen. in the church. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The church have had so many voices in the past. They have had prosperity gospel. is a voice, but it's not the voice of the seventh angel. Amen. They have had the judgmental gospel. is a voice, but it's not the voice of the seventh angel. Amen. That is why the church finds it difficult. The word being alive in the church is difficult for the church. It's so difficult because they have a form, a form of Christ. That is what they hear. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody will tell me it is not an excuse that Jesus Christ is not fully revealed. That is not an excuse. Christ revealed halfway is will not manifest Christ. Because Christ is complete in fullness and in totality. Amen. So the voice that you are listening to, it depends on what is going to be accomplished in your life. Amen. That's why it's the voice of the seventh angel in the genesis of humanity. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. What you are listening to, listen, we have come from a religious path. And we have, listen, we have built those religious clothes we put it on like a fig leaf praise be the 
the name of the Lord. We have a religious pattern. Things that we understand that this is how the, the program of God is going to be. And we still have it inside of us. Don't worry. When you hear the voice of the seventh angel, there is going to be a fire and a water upon you. Because that is what the voice of the seventh angel will do. The Bible says it's going to expose. Expose the man of sin. It's going to unveil the truth in completeness. Because it is this truth that sets us, that make us free. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Now, there's a difference between to be made free and to be set free. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. You can be free and you never knew you are free. And you live like someone who is in bondage. And that is exactly the condition of the church today. Amen. They are living in fear and in bondage. But the voice of the seventh angel is opening up the full plan of God Amen. to the church. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And while it is doing that, there is a promise of water. There is also a promise of fire. Amen. Brother Hubbard was treating it last week. This is just a review of it. He says, it was in the days of Noah. What happened in the days of Noah? There was rain. And this rain, it rained so much that it became a judgment rain. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. It became a judgment rain. And it rained and sweep over the evil ones. Amen. The evil seeds. Now, when the voice of the seventh angel is being declared, there is going to be another kind of rain. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The world has experienced different favor from God. They have experienced different rain. But this time around, when the voice of the seventh angel is declared, the rain, the Bible says, is going to fall like a hail. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Have you seen an ice block? An ice block. That is how the rain is going to fall. Praise be the name of the Lord. And this rain is a rain that is coming to destroy the roots of the enemy. To destroy the tree and the planting of the enemy in your life. Because the voice of the seventh angel is declaring inside of the bride. Praise be the name of the Lord. And as this voice is declaring, it's coming down with a rain. A rain that is falling like a hail. And that hail is bringing down every denominational planting in your life. Amen. It's bringing down every denominational seed in your life. Amen. Every denominational green plant in your life. Amen. Any denominational tree that has become a tree, a seed that has become a tree, it will not allow you to bring forth fruits. The voice of the seventh angel is going to rain down an anointing. It rain down a rain upon you. And that rain is coming like a hail. Amen. And is destroying every seed and planting of the enemy in your life. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The church needs to hear the voice of the seventh angel. That voice will root out the doctrines of Balaam. Root out the doctrine of Jezebel. Root out the mystery of iniquity. It will unveil and bring to light the manifestation of God in your life. Praise be the name of the Lord. Expect that rain is not going to be an easy rain. Ask Brother Habas. He knows how he feels. I also know how he feels. When you have brought, when we are brought off in a wrong way, your wrong, your mental mind, your carnal mind has been structured in a way that you think this is how the word of God is going to be. Praise be the name of the Lord. And you are fortunate to hear the voice of the seventh angel. You are fortunate to hear it. Wait for the rain. All those God sent the prophets is going to be crushed. Amen. All those Pentecostal brought up is going to be crushed. Amen. Everything that is not of God is going to be crushed. Because the rain is falling like a hail. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, 
as many that are listening and putting their ear and listening to this voice be prepared because it's coming to destroy the seed of the serpent in your life no matter how this seed comes no matter it can be a religious seed it's crushing it down it can be a carnal seed it's crushing it down praise be the name of the lord listen go back to the parable the parable of this of the wheat and the tar the lord says allow them both to grow until harvest praise be the name of the lord he say at that harvest is going to send for the angel and that is the voice the voice the voice that is that is manifesting in the bride in the end time omega bride pray the name of the lord and this voice is coming to crash down every task he's going to uproot it and not just uprooting it it's going to be born it's going to pass through the fire the judgmental fire of god everything that is not of god is going to be tested by that fire it's as it was in the days of Noah. So shall it be in the coming of the Son of Man. Praise be the name of the Lord. As it was in the days of Lot, so shall it be at the coming of the Son of Man. Praise be the name of the Lord. This walking is going on in your life. If you are not experiencing it, if you are not experiencing it, you have not had a voice yet. You need to pray. You need to ask God. Say, Father, I want to hear this voice. Let every denomination I brought up in my life, let every carnality in my life, let everything that is not of you in my life be crushed down. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Remember, the trumpet is upon the bride. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Many have their, their, their material mind, things that religion has taught them. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Brother, you have to throw it away. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Until Abraham separated himself from Lot, the Lord never revealed things higher unto him. It was after he separated himself from Lot that the Lord began to open new things, begin to open the new beds, begin to open the deeper mysteries. Begin to reveal a new name unto him. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We must be separated from our old denominational husband. You must, be de you must be separated. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you refuse to separate yourself from those things, and you are listening to this voice, don't worry. It's going to rain upon you like fire. It's a judgmental message coming to purge. And when it has poured, the truth will be established. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. That is just a review on fire and water. I'm not preaching. Just want to review. Listen to the message. Listen to it many times. And let the Spirit minister unto your hearts. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, we talked about how special or uh, how blessed this company are when you go to the book of revelation you understand it's always a third part it's always a first a first a first um a tenth part there's something about those things there's a company a blessed company they are so blessed listen when john the baptist was being born john the baptist didn't come like every other person came john the baptist came for a walk a specific walk praise be the name of the lord john the baptist did not come here to make wealth john the baptist did not come here to become a businessman he did not come here to to join and to inherit you know to to become part to inherit the, this kind of earth that is not what he came here for that's why the first fruits company there is no physical inheritance, no earthly inheritance for them. Because the Lord himself is their inheritance. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. Look at the type of that company. Le the Levites. 
They don't have any, they don't have business with earthly inheritance. Their inheritance is the temple of God. Praise be the name of the Lord. John the Baptist came into this world with a message. With a message. Praise be the name of the Lord. The same way the bride, the church of God, came into this world with a message. Say amen to that. Amen. You are not born by mistake. You are not a product of error. There is an ocean upon your life. There is an ocean upon your life. Amen. You have a ministry to fulfill on earth. That's why the Bible says, say, blessed are you. John, blessed are you, Peter. He said, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my father who is in heaven. When did the father reveal it to Peter? Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Peter, something was going on inside of Peter. The thinking of Peter is different from the thinking of others. His heaven has been opened up. Praise be the name of the Lord. Heaven has been declared open unto him. He could see and recognize the will of the Father. Amen. Every child of God born of, into this world is predestinated to be conformed to the image of Christ. Is a predestination. Is an usher. You cannot do anything about it. There is not, listen, so many people have a way they explain their predestination. When it comes to the body of Christ, you have nothing to, you cannot do anything. If you want to walk contrary to the will of God, you will suffer. There is a hand that will bring you and bring you down to that will because that is what you are born to do. Praise the name of the Lord. The earlier you recognize that you have a walk here on earth, and what is that work? It is your responsibility to give life to the earth. It's your responsibility to give light to the world. You are a light here. You are a light of this world. The Lord manifested here for a purpose. He blessed you. He blessed you before ever you were formed in your mother's womb. Listen. We have come to the end of time. And everything is being raised up. Magicians are becoming more stronger. Politicians are becoming more wicked. Native doctors are becoming more stronger. In this time, human knowledge has exceeded what it normally is. Now, human knowledge has been mixed with religion with politics and the end product we have it today there are men giants to face in this time and the only way you can face them is by the voice of the seventh angel without the voice you cannot withstand these giants praise be the name of the lord Hallelujah. you will be like grasshopper under them you remember the testimony of the of you the, the testimony of those that were called out of israel to inherit the promised land. They, go, they say they are a giant there. We cannot do anything. Praise be the name of the Lord. They saw themselves like grass. We are like grass copper under their feet. That is what is going to be in this end time. It is only the voice of the seventh angel that makes a difference. When this denomination is going this way, when you look at it, you have already seen the end from the beginning. Because inside of you, you are blessed with the word of God. The Bible says, it says, the Lord Jesus Christ was speaking to them in parable. Speaking to them in parable. He said, I am sent to the lost sheep of Israel. Who do you think is the lost sheep of Israel? Who is the lost sheep of Israel? Many that don't understand. They think that the lost sheep of Israel is the earthly Israel. If he was sent to the why, what made them not to hear? Praise the name of the Lord. What made them not to hear? He said, I am sent to the lost sheep of Israel. We know who the lost sheep of Israel is. You are the lost sheep of Israel. It is you that Christ is sent for. You are the lost sheep of Israel. He is sent to the bride. And he's raising a son with that bride. He's raising a sonship that is going to reign. 
Praise the name of the Lord. That is going to bring life and liberation to this world. Glory to God. He said, I am sent to the Lordship of Israel. That Israel, that was Israel before they were born. Praise be the name of the Lord. That one that was with him before the foundation of the world. Because you were with him. That is who you are. And you came here to bring life. And listen. That's why the church is called the Lamb Company. See, he has made us kings and priests. Two things joined together. Priests and kings. Now go back to the Old Testament. Kings don't have business with the temple ordinances. But these kings that the Lord is reigning, they have business in the temple work because they are kings and they are priests. Praise the name of the Lord. The, the, the duality combined. You will find that in the throne realm. Praise the name of the Lord. He said they are priests and they are kings. And what is the offer? Their life is what they are offering. Praise the name of the Lord. There is something inside of that life. There is an immortal life inside of that life. Praise be the name of the Lord. There's a life of God inside of that life. You just need to crush it a little and you see the life of God coming out. The same way it came out when Jesus Christ was crucified. As he was crucified, he was crying, forgive them for they don't know what they are doing. Praise be the name of the Lord. This bride is blessed. Blessed. Brother, you are blessed. You have to understand that you are not like others. Praise be the name of the Lord. You are not like others. By the grace of God, tomorrow we are going to do a teaching on this. Today is just a review. We are trying to review the things that was taught on Sunday. Praise be the name of the Lord. You are so blessed. Search out for the word blessed and see how many times it come up. It says, it is given unto you. When was it given to you? The Lord has given you. It is given unto you. Now listen. Oh my. I don't want to go into my message tomorrow. I will leave it. Praise be the name of the Lord. It says, it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom. It is to you. To them is not given. Praise the name of the Lord. To them is not given. It is given to you. Brother, you are blessed. It's time you are blessed. Begin to have a, a change of mind. Turn your way of thinking. Don't make yourself a civilian in this world. You are a soldier of Christ. You are sent forth here for a mission. You are here to bring life to this life. Praise the name of the Lord. You are here to save life. There's a famine that is coming forth. You are here to preserve life. Because you are going to give life. And the life you are going to give is eternal life. Praise be the name of the Lord. Listen. The Lord Jesus Christ was speaking with them. He told them, he said, this is an adulterous generation. Adulterous. The only thing this generator wants is to satisfy wants. Selfish generation. They want to live forever to enjoy the, 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 the proceeds of evil. Praise be the name of the Lord. They want to live forever to, to enjoy the, 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 the wages of evil. It is not in their minds to do the will of the Father. But it is in your mind to do the will of the Father. Because the Father has blessed you with that desire. You cannot fit in in this world. But this world, they can fit in perfectly in it because they, they belong to the world. But you don't belong here. You don't belong here. The Bible says that this adulterous generation, he said the Lord is not going to give them any other sign. Now, listen, when you think that signs and wonders are signs, you've missed it. You've missed it a million times. Praise be the name of the Lord. Because a sign today is the greater work. And what is the greater work? The greater work is revealing and unveiling of immortality. Because the greater work was done when Jesus Christ resurrected. Praise be the name of the Lord. He said, I'm not, he said, he said this adult generation, they are not going to get any of those signs. 
ask yourself, why have these signs seized automatically? Because everything you see now, they are fake. The only sign that you will see is the sign of Jonah. The new birth, immortality, being born in life. That is the sign. That is the sign. It is only an adulterous generation, a wicked and adulterous generation that seek after science. Praise the name of the Lord. They don't want to be born of God. Because it is a new birth that is the sign today. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. When Adam fell, the Lord drove him out of the said, You can't come back to eat and remain like that. Because that is the nature of man. Man wants to be comfortable. You are too comfortable in this world. What is in this world that is making you comfortable? You better wake up. If you won't wake up, the Lord is going to send the vice upon you. Get up. Because you, are not, you don't belong to this generation. You don't belong to this earth. You are a heavenly being. You are a heavenly being. You are the citizen of another kingdom. Not this kingdom. Amen. Praise be the name of the Lord. That's why many don't understand the language of that kingdom. But you are blessed to understand that language. Amen. They see it and they have their own physical interpretation. You may carry it along with them. But when the voice of the seventh angel come upon you, it's going to rain upon you, not like water. It's a judgmental rain. Amen. Amen. And the fire is a judgmental fire. Amen. It's going to burn off all those nonsense and bring, bring up a new nature inside of you. Praise be the name of the Lord. Amen. That is one of the things we taught on Sunday. How blessed you are. How the Father has brought you to a point that you put on immortality. We'll talk about more on that by the grace of God tomorrow. Don't forget to join us. It's just a review. A review of the preaching last week. Just a review. I'm not preaching. Praise be the name of the Lord. Just want to review it. God bless you for joining us. Shall we pray? Father, thank you. Thank you for your wonderful children, Lord. Thank you, Father, for bringing them forth. Father, Lord, I bless you, Father, for this bride in this generation. This generation that prophets desire to be in. The generation that will walk into glory. Not the ones that will walk into glory in the other side. But these ones, they will walk into glory while they are alive. Thank you for your children, Father. Thank you for your servants, O oh God. Thank you for this ministry. Thank you for what you are doing, Lord. Father, we want to say we are sorry. We've made you so small in our life. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, Lord. We have made you so small. Lord, forgive us. But now we have come to this realization of who we are. That we are the body of Christ. Blessed with the responsibility to fulfill the will of the Father. Help us, Father. Help my brother Herbert. Help my sisters, Lord. Help my wife and my children, Father. Help everyone, oh God, in this train and in this journey. Lord, may you continue to bring us from glory to glory. From grace to grace. Until Christ is completely, in fullness and in totality, revealed in us. Bless all those that has helped out for this ministry, Lord. That has contributed one way or the other. Father, Lord, my sister... Andre, what she's doing wonderfully in YouTube, Father, bless her. Bless your daughter, Mary Jane, oh God, for her love, for the fellowship of brethren. Father, bless her, Lord. Bless my brother, Herbert, oh God. Bless her for your love. The love for your brides to serve them, oh God, selflessly, Father. Bless my sister Diane, oh God, for your love in her heart. Oh God. Bless everyone, oh God. As many as I can remember their names, 
Because I cannot remember their name. Bless them all, Lord. You know what they are doing for this. You know their prayers for this ministry. Father, we must not fail because we are the living word assembly. We are the generation that is bringing to life immortality. And the life of this world depend on it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Bless the message tomorrow, Father. May you speak and minister to us, Father. The two services, the one in the morning and the one in the afternoon, bless it, O oh God. And help us. Help us, Father. As many that are, that are in trials, different trials, Lord, help them, Lord. Many that desire healing, Father, heal them, Father. Many that desire a touch from you, touch them, Lord. Many that desire financial breakthrough, Lord, grant it unto them, Father. Lord, we bless your name, O oh God. Let your name be exalted, Lord. And be thou exalted, Father. Be glorified, O oh God. Be glorified in our lives. Because we are the generation that call it upon the name of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For in Jesus Christ's name we pray. God bless you all. God bless you.